Hello community, I hope you are doing good. In this discussion, we will see how to implement pagination concept in portal site. And in case you missed previous discussion about how to add a form view in the portal site, please check link is given in the description. And if you want to learn more about Odoo, you can visit the Weblands channel. Under the playlist, you can see Odoo development playlist available, different types of playlist available with different topic wise with the real test cases. And in case you need any support related Odoo, you can visit the about page and send your query to this email address. Source code also available in the GitHub, make sure you can follow. And we have some social media different pages, make sure you can follow those pages to get the latest notification. So let's back to our main topic like how you can implement pagination concept in the list view here. Our last discussion was like how you can create a dynamic form view, right? in the portal side i already discussed the last time and now we are trying to achieve one more concept the pagination concept okay so for that we don't need to go to here we have to just focus in this controller part okay here in this portal.py file right you can see here we have to use pager so this method helps to automate dynamic generate page pagination system okay this part now what we have to do is we have to import in our custom python file so it's available in the portal side so we can use here let's say pager okay and same we have to implement here in our list view this is our list view controller so simple we have to add let's say page underscore detail and we have to use here let's say the pager and few parameters we have to pass okay the first parameter is let's say let me copy this this one here and i will paste here for our reference purposes so let's say url what kind of url we will we have to pass right so this is our list view right we have to use something like this then after total record how many total records is available so this is the total records like ids count sorry length and here we have to pass out let's say total equal to like this after that we have to use the page what is the page number right so this page number we have to add here in this controller so for that we have to again use here a new url let's say my students page and the page name and that page should be here and by default it should be a one okay so this value this variable we have to pass here after that what is the limit right so so you can see this is the step right so total 30 records we have to pass so each page it will display 30 records here in this example but let's say we will do some small limit let's say five let me remove this part and another thing is total students student dot object dot search underscore count right display here and here we have to pass limit equal to 5 because we add here step as a 5 so in a one page we have to display 5 record right so we have to also search with the fifth limit and here we have to use also sql offset and the limit right so we can use here offset equal to page and another thing is first we will cut this part from here
and we don't need to use this page but we can use here page underscore detail right it will return a many things you can see here it will return this dictionary so from here we can use this offset all right something like this now this page detail whatsoever we return right we have to also add in this wells and this is the prefix variable name pager and it will handle automatically by odoo okay so let me remove this upgrade module and simple restart the service now you can see odoo automatically handle this pagination so you can see here the five record display jethalal std1 std2 this one and this one right if i will click to here two you can see here the url also change the page is two limit is two and you can see different student also display if i will go to here three you can see three records is display here if you remember total we have a 13 records right if you go to here 13 records so each page we have to display five right and total three pages available so in a first page five five plus five 10 records and in a third page we have a three records so total is 13 record available right so like this way you can active this pagination in portal and very easily using this pager variable and we have to compulsory use this pager we have to call this pager to return all these predefined values okay if you have any doubt related this pagination topic please comment below and see you in next session in our next session we are going to see same pagination here also in the form view all right so see you in our next session